What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from ThisKingdom.com. We have another episode of the This Kingdom podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the recent rumors of the gondola maybe coming to Walt Disney World. Now, the idea of a gondola, it doesn't mean that we're going to be seeing what we see in Venice, where, you know, they're sort of riding along on a little boat. They're going to be like a transportation system to take us from some of the resorts to parks and vice versa. So, Victoria, what's, what have you heard about this rumor? Um... Well, based on what I found out today with the um, information that I found with the permit, it's actually happening. Good. Um, I'm looking at the permit now, actually, yeah. but there's going to be six locations. It's going to be in the studio's Epcot area. Yeah. So it's going to be Epcot, Caribbean Beach, Pop Century, and Art of Animation, and Studios. And that will be the gondola track from what I'm looking at. Okay. They, um, not- they filed a notice of commencement, and construction is going to be starting pretty soon. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting because it's, I mean, I feel like fans have really been overdue for a new transportation system because the monorail is, you know, a classic, but yeah. we need other ways to get around as well. Yeah, and I suppose as well, they've kind of spread out different areas, and the, mon- the monorail to me is a classic. It's a classic way of getting around. But my last few times going, I never used the monorail because um, I was, when I was staying on site, um, we were out in the sort of maybe the cheaper ones and or in the moderates. So the only way of doing it were the buses. And then they're fine, they're convenient, but I think the gondola system, I think it sounds fantastic. Um, the idea that you're going to be connected and that you can get across there, I don't know what the queue's going to be like, how it's going to work, but I think it's a good way of getting some people around. I mean, they'll still carry on with the buses, but I think it's just, it, it makes such a difference because um, last time we were in Disney World, we stayed at the, um, down at the French Quarter. And having the, the the boat take us down to Disney Springs, or the downtown Disney as it was then, um, it made a big difference. It was such a lovely little experience to be able to do that. And I think having this gondola system, I think it sounds really good. I don't I don't see any downside to this myself. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it's going to relieve, you know, congestion with the bus system. And also we do need something, you know, to get us from A and B, especially between Epcot and Hollywood Studios since they're so close. So I feel like that's a great idea. It kind of makes sense with the construction going on at Caribbean Beach right now. So I can kind of see that as well. I feel like it's a great idea, but I feel like when people first heard this rumor, they were thinking of Skyway. It's, yeah, it's a yeah, it's an old ride at um, Magic Kingdom. For those who don't mm-hmm. know, you can look up pictures, or I'll post some later. But I feel like it's gonna be high tech, you know, for this day and age. Mm-hmm. I see here that PCL Construction Services is gonna be working on it, so I have to. They've done work on you know the airport at Orlando, Legoland, mm-hmm. the convention center. So they've they've yeah. done some good work. I've seen. Um, one of the cool things was back um, back at Christmas. Um, I was up in London and I was staying down near the Millennium uh, the Millennium Dome, the O2 Center, and they have um, like a gondola system. They have a Skyway by that Emirates run, and it takes you from one side of the river. It takes you right up to the top, and then it brings you down the other side. And the views from up there, you get to see, you get, I mean, on the day I did it, it was a dreary December day in London, so it wasn't the best, but, you know, you got to see some bits and pieces. I don't know necessarily if, if Disney are going to need to go as high as that. Obviously, lightning and thunderstorms and that is going to be an issue, but, you know, I love going on, you know, things like sky lifts and things like that. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be like Blizzard Beach where you're just dangling off the edge. You're going to be enclosed in a, in a building, in a little right. pod. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming with this as well. I feel like it's, you know, for those who are Instagrammers, I feel like it's a great way to get, you know, view a different view of the resorts as well. Mm. Um, I feel like it's something really exciting and innovative mm. on Disney's part. I mean, they're they're very good with doing that and trying different things. So yeah. I'm, it, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be a lot cheaper to run than uh, like a monorail because of the track and stuff. Because there's... Obvious the monorails are too expensive because they don't do them anywhere. They don't. They've not expanded. They've not done anything different to it. A gondola. I think as well. It depends on the size of the gondolas because not necessarily. It might not necessarily be like four, five, ten people. You know, you could have twenty, thirty people in them, and they could be going like every minute. So it'll be faster, and it'll be that. So that queue will be constantly moving. Um, so I, I think it's going to be a good thing. Uh, I think any way of getting around Walt Disney World. That's different as well because it's part. Then it becomes part of a trip. Oh, we've got to catch the. We got to catch the gondola to the park today. You know that's going to be exciting for people. 
Yeah, especially little. Ch- well, I don't know about little children. I, of course, they're gonna be a little scared, but we'll we'll see. It uh, like I don't really have too much more information on that, as you know, considering it hasn't officially been confirmed. But based on the permits and such, it's it's gonna happen soon. No date as of when it's gonna start or be finished. So we'll we'll see. I'll, yeah. I'll keep a lookout for it. Yeah, it's a. F- I f- I still think it, you know usually when these kind of stories come around. You know, there's always that thing of like, is this real? Is it not? I mean, once you start seeing permits listed and stuff, that's usually a very good indication of. But there again, this might be way. I mean, it's an odd thing as well. Of, they might not be that bad to install. They might not really disrupt too much. I mean, the only major things really is going to be building the the hub for where they come in and turn around. And depends on how they're going to move to each place. Whether or not it's going to be one continuous one. And it goes between the six stops, or if it's just between each zone, is that's the other thing as well. I'm wondering if it might do six stops to kind of get people around a bit easier. Um, based on what I'm seeing <laughs> with this map, um, it's one, two, three, four. It'll have four stops and two turns where it'll turn into. Yeah. Got, I'll post. I'll post an article so yeah. that way everyone can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. But. This isn't even to say it's finalized, no. so we'll we'll see. No, I'm I'm think it's, I think it's really cool. I think it's a great option. I think it's good for Disney to kind of be into thinking about mm-hmm. having people moving around the parks that isn't related to the buses and giving people that are on site and a bonus and because ex- it's going to be a selling point. You know, those hotels, you know, the Caribbean and the Art of Animation, you'll be able, they will be able to go. Well, if you're staying here, you're going to have, and that's going to become a premium option. You know, if you're staying... Oh, absolutely. You know, it's like for me now, if, like, you know, if I was going to stay at the at the work, the sports or the movies or the the music one, but Art of Animation is around and it's got the gondola, I'm going to go for... I'll probably end up going for the one with the gondola because it would be like, oh, that would be cool. Because I love I loved the fact of having that connection, like I said, at the the French court of having... Being able to get somewhere on a, on a different kind of thing. And then we used to love catching that boat down. My thing is, how is this going to work with security and the metal detectors? So I'm um, assuming they'll have metal detectors at the at the stations. Yeah, well, I imagine it'd be like what we've said um, on another episode that we've recorded this week for um, security points. I'm guessing you're probably going to go for security before you board the gondola, and that would be their way of doing it because they're not going to want people on the gondola with any issues or, you know, <laughs> it just would make more sense, I think, to, to screen them at the very point of entry um because again not going to want people getting on this gondolas you know with anything either you know they 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 are having to think more about security and terror you know not that anything would could happen but they have to they probably yeah they have to think like that now unfortunately unfortunately yeah i mean you know metal detect and also they can build it into the walk into build into joining it um because i think it's just part of it now. It's, it's just one thing now that they have to do. But if they can build it at the same time, it means they can theme it better and work it out a bit easier. Exactly. So well, I'll definitely keep an eye out on it. It's definitely an intriguing venture on Disney's part. I like it a lot. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds interesting. Um, sounds like something, you know, they definitely should have been into Epcot a while ago to kind of tie into it. But then they've got a lot of other work to do at Epcot as well. Well, on that yeah. note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, as I said, you can find us over at thiskingdom.com and all the different social medias. Uh, where can they find you over on the interwebs, Victoria? They can find me at Twitter at he calls me PP or on Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. Okay, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we shall see you guys in another episode. Later's.